Hi, my name's Ollie, and today I'll be taking you through weldments, specifically weldments without using metal. Today I'm just going to show you how to make a bench. So first off, I started with a basic drawing of a profile of the wood I would be using, and then I saved this as a library feature part, and you can tell it's a library feature part because it has the little L next to the sketch symbol, and also on top it has this little library sign next to the part. So within this I've created the different configurations of wood that I'll be using. I've got 2x4, two 2x6 by two by and 2x8. And um, when you use a library feature part, it will pull through the configurations as well, so you only need one part. And after that I did the basic outline of the sketch, and now I'm going to go to weldments, going to go to structural member, and then within here you can see that I've got the wood as a structural member, soft wood, and there's my configuration there. I'm just going to select the, the lines that I want this wood to be used for. And then within weldments you have to select different groups depending on how the orientation of the sketch is. It likes to have parallel lines, um, and as these aren't parallel I'm going to need to create new groups for each one of them. Just like so. And you can see that because they're all created on one feature, you can see that it's cut the wood um, around the other two members and it takes preference from top down to bottom so one takes preference over two and two takes preference over three. Next I'm just going to add the other configurations of wood that I want so I need a two by four and I'm going to put that on this top bar here. And I'm also going to add it on this uh, support joint here like so. And finally, I'm just going to get 2x6 and use that for the top piece of wood that would be the surface wood. Now you see I've dropped this in here and um, it's not the orientation I want to, so I'm just going to change the angle. And it's, it's going through the wood and I don't really want that, I want that on top of the wood. So I'm just going to locate the profile on that corner and then it will start extruding from that bottom one. Okay, now we can see that... Um, this piece of wood is intersecting this piece of wood still and that's not what I want so um, what I'm going to have to do is also change the profile location of this one so edit the edit the feature make sure you're in the right group, locate profile and then click the profile you want it to start from and that's that top one there and then you can see that the wood lies on top of it now which is good so now we've got our basic um, shape we're going to need to trim and extend the profiles of these woods to meet other woods and to flatten out and stuff because that angle on the legs is looking a bit dodgy. So we're going to go bodies to be trimmed and we're just going to select the bodies we want to trim or extend. I'm going to go ahead and select these two bodies here. And then uh, in terms of a trimming tool I want to use this face so I want to say the wood will be trimmed up to this face and then it will give me a preview to show that. So I'm going to pin it because I'm going to do another extrude. Um, and then that, that flattens out on top then, so now I'm going to go ahead and flatten the bottom leg, so I'm going to click the bodies to it be trimmed again. And then in the trimming boundary I'm going to select a plane this time, um, and I want it to be the top plane, which is actually uh, our, our bottom surface. So I'll click the top plane and it will it'll extend those legs to be flat, or cut them, it's cut them in this uh, instance. And then there you go, you've got two flat legs there. Okay, so I've done a little bit more trimming and extending of this part, and I've been focusing on the support beams and the top beam, and uh, just changing profiles, just to get it how I wanted it to look. And you can see that I've, uh, I've trimmed this so it goes through the wood, so it gives it a nice joint effect there. So now I've got it looking how I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and mirror these across, and linear pattern the top, and finish it off. So I've done the features to finish the model off and you can see that I've added the seats on and I've just uh, patterned those and I've mirrored across the beams that we did on the start and then I've just done another linear pattern on the top again for the eating areas really. And this was all done in weldments which was dead quick and dead simple to do and all it really took was one drawing and three configurations to do. Thank you all for watching. For more information, visit our website, www.cadtech.com, and visit our blog for more hints and tips, which is updated weekly.